Good afternoon everyone. Uh, today I'm in my garage with the heat going and I have to fix the uh, Skag uh, tire gear cub there. So in my last video I had talked about that block being moving all over the place before it engages. So I am going to take that off and see what is wrong with it. I'm hoping to be able to fix it but if I can't fix it I'll have to order parts for it and then uh, hopefully if it is going to be repaired or need to be replaced I should say I can repair it enough to where it'll get me through the rest of the season. So uh, let's take it apart. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the damper off so I don't, I'm not fighting resistance to that thing. So I can see exactly what's going on. Don't want to pull the bolt all the way off. Yeah, that's easier. And I can't move it because the seat's up there, so I'm going to take this cable off and get that out of my way too. See any of that? <laughs> Looking at these a little bit closer, uh, these bolts are loose. I think it might just spell uh, tighten up the bolts and call it a good. Call it good. Well, believe it or not, I think that's all it took. It's a little bit loose, but so is the other one, so that might have fixed it. Well, the handle's off a little bit, so we're going to have to adjust that out. Okay, now as far as adjusting this handle, all it is is this rod right here. There's a jam nut on this side and a jam nut on that side, and I just turn the rod. There's some uh, grooves in this bar, so you can put a rat on there because I can't turn this by hand. Well, since that won't come loose, I can't put any heat to it in there. I have to take it off. Wait, 
So what's going on is, I don't know if you can see that, you can see the corrosion in there. So I'm going to have to uh, try and break it loose, maybe some penetrating oil, if not, put some heat to it. Amazing what a little break away it'll do. It may never have to take it apart again, but it never hurts to put some anti-seize on it. Okay, so now they got everything all straight out, we'll start from square one. So I put it in the same exact spot. Okay, so this is what I got now. Now it's Hit right on the edge right here, so now I can adjust this. That's not touching, that should be it. So let's give it one more try. That should be it. And 
that's it, it's done. All we gotta do now is just tighten up these jam nuts. And I put the seat cable back on. So that little project there of me stumbling across that block that was loose yesterday when I was out doing a leaf cleanup, when I was cleaning and blowing the leaves all off, I happened to notice it looked a little different. And uh, tightening it up, I thought I was going to have to take it all apart and do some welding, and also it does just two loose bolts on it. So yeah, I messed around with it for 45 minutes taking everything apart and loosening it all up, but uh, it still saved me between $150 and $200 just in parts and lots of labor. So I don't have to worry about that and I can just keep on running this more now. So it's a, it's a good thing when you find things on accident, but it's a bad thing because I've run so long with it being like that. But now that it's fixed, I don't have to worry about it and I can keep right on running. So uh, that is going to be the end of my video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. If you can check out the links in the description box below, it would be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a good evening and we will see you at the next year.